Hello everyone, my name is Bradley. I have a Brad Taste of Music. I listen to Harry Styles' Fine Line. There's a video out on it. Harry's House, it's out now. Alright, first song music for a sushi restaurant. So if you were hoping that this is going to be a more ambitious project, uh, he immediately off the bat says, Nope, it's going to be a soundtrack for the grocery store with a song called Music for a Sushi Restaurant. Alright, let's go. Okay. Sounds pretty nice so far. I can cook an egg on you, huh? How romantic. Damn. So hot you can fry an egg? Yeah, I know that's what he's saying. It's still a stupid lyric. Baseline's really funky. Production's really nice. Uh, honestly, this is an okay intro, uh, despite some of the lyrics being a little cheesy. Play the Ant Farm theme song. It's so similar. I remember this shit. You got it. I think they're different enough, honestly. Nah, I, I, I mean, I, I guess, kinda. I don't know. I, I think that's, nah. You got it. You got it. Got 20 seconds left. Okay. Swans, is that you? You know what? I actually don't hate this. Uh, so, people in my chat right now, I'm live, are, are really rooting against this album, really wanting this shit to fail. And I do think that Music for a Sushi Restaurant is kind of a cheesy track. Uh, but that being said, I think the instrumental is really solid. I like the horns. I think the whole thing sounds very large and very sweet. Um, yeah, I don't mind this. I, I, I do think that it could be a little bit better. I do think that there are a couple of corny lines here, but um, I actually don't hate this. I'd give it uh, a pretty strong shrug. I actually think this is a pretty okay start to the album. Yeah, I don't mind. All right, it sounds sweet, and it, it actually feels like it is a kind of a bright, like, nice start-of-the-day type of uh, album opener. Like, the sound really works for an album starter, so... Yeah, I don't actually hate that. I want to be optimistic about this. All right, next song, uh, Late Night... That's the thing, though, is Harry Style really is not obligated here to take risks. Uh, there's no reason why he needs to step outside of his comfort zone. What he's been doing has been working very well, and I feel like I'm getting exactly what I expected with this project. Um, so, maybe it's because my expectations were kind of low to start with, but I, I actually think this is perfectly fine. Offensive. I think that the song is a little bit boring at points, but I also think it kind of bumps like in this chorus Boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, ba. It gets you moving, you know, it's okay. It's all right. I don't hate it All right next song grape juice. Also, there's lyrics to these songs, which I'm a <laughs> Yeah, right all right next <laughs> Mix is kind of dog shit right now, though, I will say. Is he saying he's drinking wine or something? Grape Juice is another song of all time. Uh, I think it sounds okay. Uh, once again, I feel like there's nothing really notable to say about these tracks. You either vibe with them or you don't, and I'm just kind of on the fence with all this so far. I just think it's okay. It's relatively all just fine. It's a fine listen. Next song, As It Was. This is the Big Smash hit, one of the... This song is like a record breaker too, my god, this thing, oh my gosh. song it's a cute song it's a decent single i think it's fine i'd give the song overall a shrug the surprise of nobody the instrumentals kind of soft kind of sweet the whole thing just rides out it's a decent vibe i kind of like the lyrics uh, it's just not something i personally come back to but if i heard it on the radio i wouldn't complain next song daylight what top five are you smoking on billy eilish because my top five is harry 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 oh, 
This song is a fucking snoozer. Sweet mother of God. This is the first one I can say is uh, is boring as shit. I think it's because so far my enjoyment has kind of uh, relied on the fact that these songs have had a decent groove, nice instrumental. This is just so much of, like, it, it's just riding a vibe so hard. There's, there's barely anything here, dude. Holy sh**, this is mixed like bullsh**, man. What the f***? Everyone's like, yo, wait for it. You gotta wait for this part, and then it comes in, and oh my god, this mix is ass. That's one of the most gutless drops of all time, dude. That's funny. That's a good one, Harry Styles. When's the actual uh, full mix coming out? Why is it bad though? If you listen, hey look, okay? Someone give me a good example of like a good dynamic instrumental like explosion, like a crescendo, right? Where something just kind of all comes in and builds up because everything here is compressed and flatlined. Like what's a good song? What's a good example here? Basketball Shoes by Black Country New Road is what was suggested. I'll just kind of skim through it. For example, the horns, they're very clear, the drums are very crisp, they come in, boom! It sounds really like a like a bashing here, you know? It just, mm, it really slaps. The, the whole point of me sharing that is, of course, these are two completely different songs, but I just wanted to show you an example of, like, what a good, like, sounding, dynamic drop can be like. It doesn't need to be an extreme example, but it just shows that, like, this doesn't sound very clear. <laughs> Stop. Next. Right here, phones. Dog. Next. Little freak. And high atop the kitchen counter, stay green a little while too. That's the thing though, is like the, the horrible pop mix, the compression. I don't know if I just didn't hear it earlier in the album, but all of a sudden this shit coming out like 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 it's got something to prove, you know? It's it's really just showing up. Like like with this super ambitious sound mixed with just boring ass production makes this whole thing just sound so cheesy and pointless. Like I'm listening to a, a, a shitty watered down uh Phoebe Bridgers song. I disrespect <laughs> Dude, you are forced to pay attention to the lyrics here, and they are just, they are just boring as a motherfucker, dude. Oh my god. Hey, maybe it'll grow. Who knows? All I know is on this first listen, uh, this instrumental sucks, and this song is boring as shit. Little freak is boring. Red headphones. Dog. Uh, what, what can I say about Little Freak? Uh, for the last six songs, this album, if you completely zone it out and play Super Smash Brothers uh, while listening, it turns out that you can basically zone out and not pay attention to the music for the entire time. I don't know if that's a positive or not. Exactly. Next! Matilda. Check it. You were riding your bike to the sound of it's no big deal. Not invite your family because they never showed you love. I make your tea and your toast. You Matilda is a great piece of piano pop. I'll give it a smiley ball. First track on this that I feel like has uh, is kind of fully clicked with me. Uh, one of the most heartfelt. I feel like even though it is slow, it feels uh, rewarding for the patience you put into it. Um, and overall works as uh, as a complete track. So yeah, this one's actually. This one's a winner for me. Really good. All right. Hey, nice. All right. Next song, Cinema. Okay. I like the groovy note after something kind of down tempo like Matilda. This shit is corny as f There's no way in hell he means what I think it means, right? Is this a sex song? It makes this shit instantly horrible. My god, it all of a sudden turns this funky track into uh, a, a, a sex song. I mean, oi. It's getting cold though. I don't know. I don't hate it. I feel like the cinema, 
cinema metaphor here doesn't really work all that well. This feels lame. I like this chorus, minus the part where he's talking about cinema. I dig your cinema. It's the stupidest shit I've ever heard. That is, uh, that is not sexy, that is not attractive, it just sounds weird. Ew! The fuck? Just this song is so self-indulgent in this terrible cinema idea. Make a movie with your girl, Steven Spiel. Bro, this sucks! <laughs> yeah! Come on, man. The, I cannot take these shouts of cinema. Seriously, dude. Like, like, like he's screaming it while he's. Ah, <sighs> right headphones. I think that Dog. song was unbearable, really corny. Lyrics are terrible. Never want to listen again. All right, next song, uh, daydreaming. I actually don't hate the line love you uh, love me like you paid me as it just seems like a ironic thing to say which kind of works I don't, I don't hate it I don't hate it also I know people are gonna be like oh Bradley you you like this but you don't like cinema yes cinema was cringe this this is fine okay it's it's tuned back a little bit both are exactly the same they're equal they're literally like copy and paste tracks formula and everything the screaming at the end everything is the same uh, i'd honestly say that these two moments also have grown on me just because literally it's like if you zone out it's the music it's fine but uh, as soon as you start paying attention it's just boring <laughs> It's not a good scream. This album's pretty mediocre so far, but I take it over plenty of other far more boring music out there. Yeah, I kind of feel the same. Red headphones! Dog. Wow! Is that a surprise? Well, guess what? Daydreaming is literally the exact same song as Cinema. I'm not even shitting you. Like, it is actually the exact same song with just, like, a, a different instrumental. Like, they just tweaked it, changed it, but had the exact same idea with writing this song. It's the exact same fucking song. The exact same song. That's infuriating. Like, they, they literally just made the same song again in a row. Like, come on. All right, it's more of a shrug, if I'm being fair. It's more of a shrug. All right, next song, Keep Driving. Yo, pause. He's doing that thing that Glass Animals did. He's just listing off things that belong in a specific area to create a certain vibe for a song without actually making real lyrics. Black and white film camera, yellow sunglasses, ashtray, swimming pool, hot wax, jump off the roof. Wow. It really makes you think of, uh, think of living in the, uh, the Holiday Inn. Oh my god! Keep Driving is possibly the worst song on this album. I'd give it a red headphones. Dog. I felt like that was an agonizing experience listening to Harry Styles just uh, basically have the gunna flow of just listing off fucking random objects uh, just to uh, uh, make you feel some sort of vibe, but the vibe isn't there and the mix sucks. This song is absolutely terrible. And if you want to know what I mean by the gunna flow, allow me to, to elaborate, okay? Hashtag free gunna, of course. Passports, Fort Wells, Kissers, Don't Tells, Wine Glass, Puff Pat. Ah! Ass! Alright. Next song, Satellite. definitely a step up oh my god that sounds terrible 
Oh my god, the mix is so horrible, man. What the fuck? He had the right idea, you know, elevate the track, but my god, does that sound horrible. Sure, which I don't, I don't know if it's the producer's fault. I think it's actually just general mixing. Mixing engineer. <laughs> What a catalog, dude. This guy's uh, in charge of everything Maroon 5 and Oasis. Now that, now that's a good catalog right there. Julia Michaels, Ed Sheeran, Beyonce. In other words, this guy's never worked on a rock song in his life. Which is fair. You know, this kind of shit might work uh, in some other situations, but it does not sound good here. Holy sweet mother of God, that was the absolute worst outro you could possibly have. That's a red headphones. This song got Dog. fucking butchered, dude. You want to talk about ruined songs? Oi, the idea was uh, was there, but my God, the execution was horrendous. My God, he just fucking three-pointed that into the toilet. Oi, dude. I mean, come on. You gotta, you gotta widen your circle, dude. You can't just get these fucking produce for Ed Sheeran producers to do some sort of like authentic rock drop there dude it sounds like ass next song boyfriends yo what you see what I'm seeing chat huh I don't care if it's in reverse okay that shit's not acceptable My friends, they think you're so easy. stop I know I could treat you better than he can And any girl that you deserves a gentleman Oh, they're just misunderstanding you I'm sorry, I don't buy this shit, man. This, this is terrible. I can't do this. Oh, so dramatic. Wow. How observant. Harry Styles makes an extremely emotional song about a, a, a woman who's going through abuse. Boyfriends. Am I right? This song is terrible. I, I actually think this song is just literally so bad. It's framed in such an awkward, awkward like way. He's mansplaining. Exactly. That's the perfect way to put it. He's mansplaining abusive boyfriends, pretty much. Night Cranes in the chat for that one. All right. Next, a final song in this, Love of My Life. Weird. I did not actually change the volume at all, but it all sounds weirdly loud. I think it's just the fact that the mix is so shit. Baby, Take a walk on Sunday Holy day. shit, dude, this shit sucks! Where did it all go wrong, dude? My fucking ears, dude! Oh my god, who mixed this shit, man? Oh my god! Baby, you don't know what's lost to it sounds like the same generic dribble that was happening throughout the entire project, which is just, baby, you're the love of my life. I, I swear, this song might have a punch if, if it actually was listenable. How deep is your love? I don't know. To like the ocean. Watch the news, CNN. They're trying to control us with the media, but we keep it on, girl. I'm just navigating album of the year. I'm, I'm done with this shit already. Is that it? Wow, that was a weak outro. Love of My Life is supposed to be this grand statement, but unfortunately Harry Styles got completely f***ed by whoever produced this song. It sounds awful. I'd give it a red headphones. Oh. Oi! And there might actually even be a sweet tune under here somewhere, uh, underneath some of the weird lyrics uh, about, you know, how, how he really loves this person and he loves all the little things. You know, it's kind of sweet. Now, Harry's House is not a terrible album. It's got a couple of moments uh, where it sounds really sweet. A couple of tracks here have some really nice lyrics and kind of guide me along. And I'm like, all right, this is a nice journey. Uh, the beginning of this album is very listenable. There's a lot of sweet tunes uh, in the first half here. Um, but the mixing of this project is ass. And that's about it. There are just moments here that are completely unenjoyable. Uh because they are just completely unlistenable and I can't even pull them apart because my ears are bleeding and I never want to return to them. 
Uh, and unfortunately, as the listener, that's about where uh, where it ends for me. You know, music is kind of like a table, all right? Once you start sawing off legs, that table quickly becomes very much uh, unusable. And that's about how I feel with these songs. Okay, production's one of those legs, and that leg was karate chopped off, and unfortunately the entire album suffers from that. Uh, I'm overall feeling in uh, a 3 plus to a 4 minus on this project. That's about it. All right, wow, that was quick, that was easy, got nothing else to say. All right, see you guys later, peace out.